Okay, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at a really important concept in math using vectors and this is the cross product when, um, or the vector product. So basically what we're trying to do is we're going to determine a vector that points perpendicular to a couple of other vectors. So let's imagine this hand. This is actually commonly used and this, see this hand? It's a right hand. So what we're going to use is the right hand rule. And it's very simple. What you do is you, you look where the right hand is pointing. And in this case, we're using this vector k. Because remember, i, j, and k from the previous lesson is nothing more than x, y, and z. So if I showed you here's x axis, here's the y axis, here's the z axis. That's why I have this as i, j, and k. These are, they're essentially like your unit vectors in x, y, and z. Remember I was showing you how you could do uh, a vector within Python in Blender you know when you specify a blender I mean uh, where is this we specify in blender Python you can specify this as say 0, 0.0 and then maybe this is 1.0 and then this is 0, 0.0 so this would be specifying a vector that pointed straight down the j axis or the y axis essentially so it's a unit vector in the j in the y direction so it's j so that's i j and k x y and z all right so let's I'll right, get rid of that for a second so there's my i j and k and so what we're going to do with this is we're going to look at the way this works for determining whether values are positive because remember I said when you specify a vector if you do it in here's along here if you do it down here in say one two three units in x you would say three i right? or if you did three units in j it would be one two three j but if you went this direction it would be negative one negative two this point would be negative three j and down here it would be negative one negative two i and down below the surface if I was down below here it would be negative k, you know, negative 1k, negative 2k, negative 3k, like this, all right? So, but what we're going to do with this right hand, this this helps us determine which way a vector is going to point, because what we're going to do in the next lesson, we're going to use the cross product, or it's also called the vector product. We're going to determine which va way a vector is pointing based on a couple of other vectors, and the vectors we're going to use in this lesson are going to be i, j, and k, and we use the right hand rule to determine which way it's pointing. So we do it just like this. In this case, the hand is pointing in positive k, right? And what you do is you curl the fingers towards the vector that you want to look at and in this case we're just going to use these orthogonal vectors so I'm going to curl k towards i all right or I'm going to say k cross i I'm going to cro so k cross i but I can do that by I'll grab all these guys up here let's see where all those I have these here yep all right so so if I press g and I'll curl these g Oh, there they are. They're curling now. All right. So what I've done, I've curled the hand towards the I axis. So K crossing into I, and then you just look where the thumb is pointing. And the thumb is pointing down the J axis. So K cross I is essentially going to be like this. K cross, it's a big X. It's not a multiplication sign. So K cross I is equal to J. All right, and strictly you were determining it by this, this <laughs> right hand rule. It's the right hand rule. Literally, that's what it's called. Okay, so let me control Z that. I escape that. Control Z this hand. Make him straight again. Let's do it differently. Let's let me put my cursor down here somewhere near the bottom of this hand. All right, and I'll just grab the whole hand. I have it in a group. There's the right hand. There it is. There's the whole right hand. Now I'm going to do something different. Now I'm going to, maybe I'll rotate it so it's pointing down negative J. All right, so I'm going to rotate the hand so RX. So it's now it's pointing down negative J, All right? Because there's I, there's positive J, so negative J. So I'm pointing down negative J, okay? I think you're going to get this idea very quickly. And then I'm going to grab all the fingers. I can get them. Oh, missed it. Dang it. All right, hang on, I'll get it. All right, there's one, two, three, 
for all right there's all the fingers I, I'm gonna and I'm gonna curl the hand towards the eye axis so G I'm gonna curl them I'm, let's better do it from above <laughs> that's G I'll get it all right there we go I curled it like I'm wrapping it around right and then my thumb in this case also is pointing in the K direction so in this case it'd be negative J right because that's where we're pointing in the first place crossing into I so negative J cross into I equals K All right. and this is important because we need to know the direction of this perpendicular vector that results when we're doing it we just we need to know if it's positive or negative because it's not the same and here's how you'll figure out if it's not the same I'll show you so I'll put my cursor here like this All right and in this case I'm gonna control Z my hands so they're back here and now I'm gonna rotate I'm gonna rotate the hand so it's pointing the other way so in this case we did negative you know negative J crossing into I gave us K but what if we did it the other way around instead of negative J crossing into I what if we did I crossing into negative J all right so I'll rotate the hand RZ all right so I'm rotating it now it's pointing instead now I'm going to start towards I and I want to cross into negative J but the problem is I can't do it this way because my fingers can't curl backwards because you have to curl the fingers towards the axis that you want to do so in order to do that I'm gonna have to flip this over so I'm gonna have to do RX like this and the hands gonna do this so kinda of like if you twisted your arm around where your thumb is pointing down and so now in this case then I'm able to come in here and I can grab all the fingers of the hand like that and now I'm going to do I cross negative J so let's see so I'm going to do G I better do it from above G alright there I am I'm curling them towards negative J which is going to be over here I'll give you a negative J there shift D and then G sh shift Z and I'll just tab that real quick there you go there's your negative J alright so there's negative J so what I've done I've taken the hands I've gone I crossed in the negative J and then we have to look towards where that thumb is pointing and that thumb is pointing down at yep you know it shift D down here below the scene and that is negative K all right like that because the thumbs pointing down there because we had to flip the hand over in order for it to curl from I to negative J so this is the right hand rule so that in that case it would be I crossed into negative J equals negative K all right so now this this is important because what we're going to do this is the mathematics for the cross product or the vector product same thing in the next lesson and then that's going to give us the ability to create an axis which is perpendicular to a couple of vectors and by doing that we'll be able to know how to point our missile towards an enemy missile and that's going to be the basis of being able to allow our missile to track an enemy missile and so this is fundamentally important for uh, the next couple of lessons Okay, well that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next lesson.